The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Enigmatica 2. Uh, so today, guys, we're going to be messing around with mechanism. Um, now, I've already set some stuff up and I've already done a little bit of uh, off-camera work with it. Um, this solar uh, generator uh, was something that the inspector got, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, in, a, in a quest bag or a quest, a quest uh, chest, a reward chest. Um, and I've, I set it up on the, the roof a, a little while back, probably about a week ago. And um, it's been doing its thing. And I, I set this up as well. Um, I got this uh, out of, I'm not sure where he got it, but I'm pretty sure he got it out of a loot, loot crate as well. Um, so I set both of these up. Um, and the only reason I actually turned this off is because it is louder than I care for it to be. Uh, however, what I've done is I've, I've hooked a cable to it and brought it down. And uh, it's now, oh, well, I can't jump apparently. It's now down in our base. And actually, I turned the inspector's little tiny room into a, uh, a bit of a, a space. So this is kind of my thought. We'll, we'll put some mechanism stuff here and we can just bring the power down, run it along, and then have our, have our machines right here. Um, so right now I have this basic energy cube that I'm gonna plop down there. And I have some universal cable still. All right, so that should be getting power. Yeah, it is quickly gaining power. All right, I'm very happy about that. Uh, now, the reason I've done what I've done is you might have noticed that I had a capacitor up there and then I'm also having this basic energy cube because we're rocking and rolling the, the solar gem. Um, we're going to only collect power during the day. So we want to make sure that we at least have some power to run over the night. And that's kind of what I'm thinking is if we do it this way, we uh, we still have some power. Now, the energy cubes are. Uh, I was looking up for sods to see if I could make this look a little prettier. The answer is no, you can't. Uh, so this is the basic one. Uh, it's super easy to make, actually. These energy tablets, um, you just need a little bit of power to, to run the metallurgic infuser, and you can make the uh, the energy tablet pieces right here. Uh, the, these ener ener enriched alloys. Really super simple. It's redstone and a piece of iron and some power. Um, so it doesn't take much to run it. Um, and then put all that together. And then the steel casing is just some uh, glass, steel, and osmium. Uh, so everything we had on hand, basically. Um, actually, even the um, uh, these little guys, I, uh, I actually don't believe I made them for this. I had them from a quest reward, so it was perfect. Um, so looking at this, uh, it's quite a jump. It goes from 800,000 uh, kerfs, which is 1,000 RFs, um, and then, or sorry, yeah, 800,000 RF up to 3.2 million RF. And then like the next one is, they're really, really good size jumps. Um, so I was considering making this because we have the ability to, but I think I'm gonna hold off for now um, and see how everything plays out. Cause if we don't have enough power to keep up charging it, there's no point in having something that big. Uh, so what I think we're gonna do though, we're going to start with the metallurgic infuser, right? Uh, we're going to put this over here. Let's say it's going to go there. Uh, we also have the heat generator because that was part of the quest book. Two, mechanism. So I've already kind of branched out and did a couple of these. Um, I accidentally did this, and I don't know how. Uh, the inspector must have gotten this. Uh, I don't remember getting uh, obsidian TNT, so that must have been something the inspector got in a uh, reward. Um, but uh, and same with this, the Sagon wood. I'm pretty sure he. I didn't do this because I can't find it. Um, I'm pretty sure he set that up. But that that's actually you know what? I never thought to look in the chests up here. I didn't make it, so. I wonder if he did. I bet that's what it is. I bet he made it. Yep, there it is. Look at that. So let's set this up. 
let's get some power down here and we'll we'll get this going. Now, if you don't know what a precision sawmill is, it's a terrific thing for turn. Wow, that really didn't take long. It basically what it does is it turns um you get additional wood. Oh my, we are very low on wood. Okay. So basically, you get additional wood. So instead of four planks, you get I think it's six or eight. I think it's six. I think it's 1.5 times. Yeah, you get six, but you also get sawdust, which is really actually something that's really cool because you can use this to make paper, cardboard boxes, and a couple other things. Um, the Phyto Grow, this is something that you can use on, uh, it has something to do with um, uh, plants and stuff. It's like fertilizer. Um, Aqua Chow, no idea what that is. Aqua Chow, rich Aqua Chow, no clue. No idea what that does. It's a florb. What the hell's a florb? Like Matt, ow, okay. I have no idea what a florb is. Well, well anyways, what I was getting at is um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to look into those. However, um, as you may have just noticed, these machines are loud, like so loud. So speed, energy and muffling. There is a muffling upgrade, which steel blend. I don't know how to get that. How do you get steel blend? Pulverizer? Pulverizer. Yeah, okay, that, may, that makes sense. And then you can get enriched iron and coal. Okay, so we're gonna dump the, red, uh, the redstone. So if I put a piece of coal in there and some iron in there, Basically, I'm, I'm just gonna give you guys an idea of how to do this, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I got two coal and two iron. Two coal, two iron. And this puppy still has a little bit of, uh, of power in it. Um, I have to configure this side, I bet. Yeah, only the front. So left output, yeah. That worked. Okay, so we got enriched iron. Enriched iron. Okay, so I need more coal in it. Okay, all right, we can do this. So basically what you do is you put coal through, or you put iron through twice with coal, and it turns it into steel, was it steel? Steel blend. That's how. That's what it turns it into. It turns it into steel blend, and so um, we can now do enriched alloy, some glass. We have lots of glass and uh, some steel, and we're good to go. Now, oh, I could have just. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna make two because I'm pretty sure all of them could uh, can use a muff. Ooh, all all of them can use muffler upgrades. Was it panes or was it? No, it's blocks. Shit. Oh well. Come on. There we go. Let's grab that powder. Or blend, I should say. Not powder. Powder is coke. Not cocaine. Make two of them. Uh, because my hope is that when I throw stuff, if I throw an upgrade in here now, It doesn't make nearly as much noise. Uh, here. All right. Uh, and there's a bunch of other, you can make it so it doesn't take as much energy to do things. Uh, you can make it so it ha it's faster. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Uh, so let us look. Hmm. Tell you what guys, I'm gonna run and grab a little bit of, uh, a little bit of wood and then uh, We'll be back and we're going to test out the new the sawmill and uh, see how loud it actually is. All right, guys. So I uh, went and got a bunch of wood. Um, I, just, I just dropped this thing in there. It's still uh, still pretty loud. I mean, that's annoying. I don't want that running constantly. That's going to drive us bonkers. So what I've done is I've got some more uh, some more iron cooking. 
so we can do some more um in what not not enriched steel uh steel steel blend so we can do some more steel blend we can make some more muffled uh M muffle mufflers for our, our things that way we never have we can't hear any of this stuff that that's the idea because i want to be able to automate this and make it so you don't hear it at all that's that's the goal that's the hope and i'm actually considering what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to actually bring this down um and put it underneath all of this that's the thought um so i'm kind of considering doing that um, and I want to see what other mechanism stuff we have the access we have access to to see if there's a way of doing auto like if we can do um, we can automatically or double it cook it and then if we can pipe it into I want to make this entire wall more drawers and yeah so it, it basically just like it'll go in it'll go into a chest uh, it'll go automatically get processed all the way through all, whatever it is just get processed through and boom into the into the um, into the wall i think that if we can do that 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 would be awesome so yeah that's i think what our goal is today uh see if we can set something up like that and mess around with mechanism and 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 kind of dig through the book okay guys so i've dropped uh i've dropped three of the muffler muffling upgrades in here so we're gonna see how that how this is now ah Getting there, getting there. I think we're gonna drop a couple more and see how many how many we can go. Cause I I don't really care how fast that machine goes. I do, however, uh, care how loud it is. So one more. It's now silent. Look at that, guys. All right, that's cool. So now we can just we can just have this doing its thing. Um, that's really neat. I wonder is there um is there a better precision sawmill? Like is there an upgraded precision sawmill? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, it can do speed, energy, and muffling. I think that's it. Yeah, speed, energy, muffling. Um, what does it require for speed? I'm just curious. Uh, what's the speed one look like? It looks like that. This one? Nope. Uh, that one. Mechanism. Osmium dust. Glass. Okay, so they're all the same. They just have different dusts. How do you make osmium dust? Presuming it's in... I have no idea. Enrichment chamber. Dirty osmium dust. How do you get dirty osmium dust? Osmium clump. Okay. All right. Um, in the enrichment chamber, you get osmium dust from dirty osmium dust. Interesting. Oh, but look, there are different versions of it. So are there different versions of this sawmill? I'm curious now. Elite Sawing Factory. Wow, okay. Basic Sawing Factory. Oh boy. Oh, the Precision Sawmill is just the beginning of it. Wow, guys, we, you know what? We should probably use this book more because I'm sure it'll teach us everything we need to know. Damn. <laughs> Slurp. Oh, we auto-qualified for that because... Yeah, we qualified for that before because the uh, we, we got steel out of the, the smeltery. Um, okay, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to do some crafting. Oh, I bet we can actually, we, get, we qualify for this. Isn't that cute? Uh, we can qualify for this. Um, powered furnace enrichment, enriched ores, enrichment chamber. We, wait. Oh, no, that's a metal energy confuser. Um... Okay, so I mean, we have we have a good chunk of stuff to, to craft and uh, just uh, push it out. So I'm gonna work on the, some of the crafting guys and uh, we'll be back, moving time, cardboard box. Oh, that's that sawdust thing. Okay, all right, cool. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna work on this off camera and uh, I'll be back.
the hell? All right, guys, I, uh, I did not know how to use a cardboard box. I do now. I don't know how to open the damn thing, but I accidentally picked up a block of, of cobblestone. Uh-oh. I don't know how to access it though. Like empty hand? No, I have no idea how to open this. Where's the book? With settings and chests with lots of stuff and you're moving your base, if only there was something here to help you out. That's super cool. So that'll, that'll work on chests? Oh, let's try this. And then we put it back. Question done becomes, how do you open it? How do you open these? Great. I have a diamond chest that I don't know how to open. Ah, there it is. Oh, and you get it back. No way. Really? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So they're even reusable. This one. Right. Right. Bam. Quest complete. <laughs> uh, burp. Burp. Uh, now that you've drained up a lot of water, maybe you want to fill up a lake? Let's get going, shall we? It will fill up everything below it with a source block with the liquid you give it. Power goes from in behind, in, goes in from behind, fluid inputs from above. The fluidic planet plenisher can check and place a maximum of 4,000 source blocks Holy shit. Dude. Okay, so we need another pump. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. We need another electric pump. Okay, so we need another steel casing. Okay, good. And pump. It's in a bucket. Well, I guess water buckets don't count. Uh, can we... There we go. That works. Let's just get rid of the water. Okay, and then... What the heck is this thing called? Plenisher. Wow, we are missing everything. Oh, oh, it's tin. It's not osmium. I thought it was osmium. Like, that's a really expensive... Uh, we have the tin, and we should have... Yeah, we got the basic circuits. Basic control circuit, sorry. That's the plenisher, right? Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go with those again. Might as well. Uh, enriched ores, what does this do? The enrichment chamber is mechanisms or double or, but it also... You, it's... It is also used in all four tiers of mechanism or processing up to quintuple output. Whoa. The enrichment chamber can also increase the efficiency of infusion materials and increase their effectiveness by eight 
times. So for example, an enriched piece of redstone will count as eight pieces of redstone in the metal metal metallurgic infuser. Damn. Okay, we gotta get this puppy. And we can make one. Beautiful. The count. It counts. Uh, what do we get to pick? Oh, yeah, let's just go with enriched alloys at this point. A standard furnace that runs on power can be used to smell ore dust, cook food, or and anything you expect a normal furnace to do. Okay, cool. Ooh, we actually get raw pork chops out of that. Okay, uh, let's do this thing. We do we have everything? Wait, what's it called? Not a furnace, smelter. Nope. Uh, this. We have everything except for the machine casing. Cool. All right. Uh, let's do that. Then can we? Oh, we don't have any glass left. Shoot. Will this work? Will you take this glass? Yeah, you will. Sweet. Uh, we'll go with these. Flow like a river. Basic mechanical pipe. Need your fluids elsewhere? Or maybe in your machines? Fear no more. The mechanical pipes are here to save you. All right, cool. Uh, what's this? This is just a bucket, some steel. Okay, we could probably actually... We don't have a bucket on us. We'll soon. Uh, mechanical pipe? Looks right. Oh, we need... Oh, crap. That sucks. There we go. That did it. Sweet. Uh, and we get eight more for that. All right. So that's that branch. So yeah, guys, uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap up for today. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get the, uh, everything sorted out for the machines. And, uh, I think what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to get that all sorted out off camera, try to figure out our power, uh, and, uh, go from there guys. So, I hope you've had fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you have, toss me a thumbs up. Goes a long way. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you know about the next episode. Have a good day, guys. Cheers.